Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing a doodle crate and I'm excited for this time of month. I love it when they show up in the mail that it's a little bit later this month than normal. I think just, you know, shipping, it's Christmas and it's COVID and all the things this year, so it just takes a while. But if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do different unboxings, which is what we're doing today, to give you curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button, and let's open this crate. Okay, so this month the crate is Textured Clay Luminaries. It says explore sculpting with resin clay and designs and design a pair of luminaries. So that just sounds really cool and fun. Every time I think of luminaries, I think of Tangled. That's just always what it's gonna remind me of, I think for the rest of my life. But when you open it up, this is what it looks like. So that looks pretty cute actually. And it's all made out of clay. At least that's what it sounds like. So that's the little picture that we have. These are our instructions. It just kind of goes through and gives you some ideas. Oh, there's another one. Those look super cute. I'm excited for this. And so it gives you some different instructions, but it also gives a little bit of history. Sometimes in here it talks about a little bit of history behind it. And then we have this. <laughs> I don't know if this is supposed to be a rolling pin or it's one of those like finger traps. I'm just kidding. That's not this. <laughs> but I don't know what it is or maybe to punch holes. I guess we'll see. And then we have some different clay tools right here. These are like big silicone circles of some sort, <laughs> I don't know. And then this is just some little tubing. There's a lot of interesting little pieces in this crate. I'm not sure what we're gonna use them all for. And then we have some paint right here to paint our little luminaries. There's a little tea light. Sorry, my computer just made a noise at us. <laughs> There's a little tea light over here to go inside of it. And then we have our clay resin. I can't remember if this is the kind that Oh no, this one says dries out when exposed to air because there's some that they send that you have to bake, but maybe this one you don't have to bake. And then we have some little plastic. I know that's hard to see, but like this clear stuff that we're gonna use probably to help mold them. And then this I think is for the texture on the sides of them, on the little luminaries. And then this looks like a little mat so we know how big to make them. I really love how they send these kind of things. It really is so helpful. It's helpful for me as an adult, so it's way more helpful for children just to know where they're supposed to do their little project. And then this is like the cutest little stamper ever. Look at how teeny that is. Okay, so that's what's in this crate and I'm excited to have her make these and just see how they turn out. So I'm gonna let her get at it and we will let you know how it goes. Okay, so I want to finish the doodle crate. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. You know, I didn't do it, but I thought it was fun. Okay, do you want to hold them up so they can see them? So they were the textured clay luminaries. So here they are. So she made two of them <laughs> and got to paint them. So this is the back right here. This is where it was open. It's kind of stuck to itself, but right here there's a seam and there's a seam on this one. You gotta hold it up a little higher. <laughs> there we go. So this was a lot of fun for her to make. Something that I really love that they do with most of these crates when they have, you need to build something that's a certain size or whatever, they give you a template. And it is so helpful. So they have this template right here and they even show you where to put the tape. So that's helpful. So you have this big plastic piece that sat on here which you would have seen in the video. It's upside down, sorry. And then you roll out the clay to the right size on here, this rectangle, and then you can cut it. So we used a ruler. We just lined a ruler up with the lines over here so that she could get a straight line and then she was able to cut it with the tools that they gave her. But I really love how they provide these templates because it makes it so much easier for them to know what to do and to visualize what they're supposed to do. So that was a lot of, that was really good for her. It made it a lot easier for her to do it. So what was your favorite part? Um, getting the paint them. 
getting the paint on. So we still have a lot of paint left. It's like a glaze. So it's probably hard to tell on, ca on the camera, but it's a little bit glossy looking. And so we still have some of this left over. So I guess if you wanted to paint more clay or you could paint the inside of these. So it shows that as an option as well that you could paint the inside of them. It has that, I think, at the very back of this instruction book showing that if you want to get inspired more, you could paint the inside. And then what was the hardest part, do you think? Mm, trying to make sure you got the uh, on the really trying to not get under it. Uh, when you're cutting the dough, the clay with the ruler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so making sure you stayed on top and followed the ruler instead of digging underneath, that is always hard. <laughs> so uh, we still have some really cool tools that she could use. We have this rolling pin that has little markers on the end. And then, <laughs> are you showing us how to use it? Mm -hmm. We have these tools, which we've gotten a set of these before when she's done a clay activity. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> we probably will not keep this, but it is the cutest little sponge ever in the world. And then something else, if you wanted to keep these, you could <laughs> were these little texturizers. <laughs> I don't know what you call them, but they add texture to these. I feel like you can't even really tell. You can barely see it. <laughs> She's like, yes, you can. So right here, there's barely some texture and I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Just teeny little squares everywhere. So I felt like these didn't work the best. You set them on the clay and then use a rolling pin to go over them. Just sort of like that. <laughs> but I think cause they're not like metal or plastic, something thicker, they don't really indent very well. So I thought maybe this could have been a better thing cause I had totally forgot we even used them because you can hardly tell. And then it came with little, just like teeny little tubes. They look like oversized straws. And that's how she punched all the holes out. But we, we threw those away cause they are just like cheap plastic straw things. And so that's how she got all the holes. And then it came with one light. So here's the tea light it came with. Oh, you put the little plastic in it. So this is the tea light it came with. Sorry, I'm trying to hold it up. So this is more of a like white light. And then I happen to have some tea lights since she made two luminaries. And this one's, mine's obviously a little bit more yellow. And so you'll be able to see the difference it makes in the dark. So I thought it was a really fun activity. And then if you want to, you can seal the back of these with more, you put the glaze on them and then push them together and let them dry overnight. We didn't do that because they're really, like they stick together just fine. And then overlapping them, I feel like there would have been too many gaps to actually stick together anyway. So we didn't, we didn't try to do that, but you could do that if you wanted to. It suggests, suggests, <laughs> suggests doing that in the book. Huh? So, this is one that does take a few days because you have to let these dry and then you let the glaze dry, huh? So it took several days to wait for it to all get dry, but it was still a lot of fun and she enjoyed doing it, huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What are you gonna do with them? Put them in my room. Put them in your room. They can be your little night lights. <laughs> yeah. So if you enjoy seeing these types of videos, please give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time. Roll, roll, roll.